Alaska's earthquakes, which were the biggest. Alaska is relatively quake-proof, so even a level 6 earthquake may not seem like a big deal there. Thus, the following earthquakes are level 7 and above. The letter M in parentheses stands for magnitude. So guys, let's watch some largest earthquakes in Alaska. The Great Alaska Earthquake of 1964. M9.2. The Great Alaska Earthquake of 1964, also called the Good Friday Earthquake, happened on March 27, 1964. The earthquake lasted for minutes and 36 seconds, but that was enough time to claim the lives of 131 locals. This earthquake is the most powerful earthquake the United States has ever seen, and it ranks high on the list of the world's most damaging earthquakes. This earthquake didn't come alone. Alaska also saw a tsunami during that same period. Worse still, the quake caused an underwater landslide in Prince William Sound, Port Valdez. This landslide damaged the harbor and the 32 people who were either working on the docks or aboard an anchored ship drowned. The tsunami alone killed 23 residents, only 45 people escaped from the wave. 1965 Rat Islands Earthquake. M8.7. On February 4, 1965, barely a year after the Great Alaska Earthquake, Alaska experienced another great earthquake, this time at the Rat Islands. The pattern of the quake was oddly similar to the previous years. Judging from recorded vibrations, the earthquake started deep below. The vibrations first moved southwards, then westwards, along the Aleutic Arc, before rupturing. The Rat Island Megathrust earthquake started when the Pacific Tectonic Plate moved under the North American Plate, in the western region of the Aleutic Islands. This earthquake rated 8.7, caused a 10.7 m tall tsunami. As severe as this earthquake was, there were no casualties. However, properties worth $10,000 suffered damage. The earthquake from the previous year must have taught Alaskan to be ever ready, and this extends beyond simply earthquake-proofing houses. 1957 Andrianoff Island. M8.6. Alaskan earthquakes aren't a new thing. Even before the record-breaking earthquake in 1964, Alaska witnessed frequent, severe earthquakes. This particular earthquake that happened on March 9, 1957, started when the North American tectonic plates crashed with the Pacific Plate, yet again. At the boundaries of these great tectonic plates, we have a subduction zone that is about 4,000 kilometers deep. This trench is called the Aleutian Subduction Zone. Because these earthquakes happened pretty early in Alaska's earthquake history, they could not accurately assess the quake's behavior. Luckily, the earthquake claimed no lives, even though valuable property was destroyed. This disaster dealt some damage to Alaska's infrastructure, claiming roads, bridges, buildings, and even fuel stores. 2021 Chignik Earthquake. M8.2. On July 28, 2021, an earthquake with a moment magnitude of 8.2 tore through Chignik Island. A few moments later, locals experienced three more earthquakes. According to the United States Geographical Survey, the first wave was the only actual earthquake. The vibrations that came after were simply aftershocks of the first, rated at 5.9, 6.1, and 6.9 moment magnitudes, MW, each. This earthquake ranks seventh on the list of the most severe earthquakes the United States has seen. Despite that, no one died during the natural disaster. We have Alaska's sparse population to thank for that. Also, because the earthquake happened offshore, it caused less damage than if it had occurred on land. During the waking moments of the quake, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration sent out a tsunami warning. Thankfully, the warning was rescinded, a tsunami appearance was unlikely because the quake was far below the seafloor, 32 kilometers. Had it been closer, it would have displaced more water, increasing the chances of a tsunami. 2020 Simonov Earthquake. M7.8. The Simonov Earthquake is a rather unusual one. This earthquake occurred in the Shumigan Gap. Before 2020, this area had been earthquake-free for at least a hundred years. This earthquake came as a surprise, despite how common earthquakes are in Alaska. For decades, scientists believed that the Shumigan Gap would never rupture. Most gaps had a waiting period of between 50 to 90 years. When the Shumigan exceeded the 90-year limit, 
experts believe that instead of accumulating stress, the 125-mile-wide gap was gently slipping. However, on July 21, 2020, the Schumagin Gap ruptured. Although the earthquake was not tsunamogenic, it caused a series of aftershocks. These aftershocks continued even days after the main earthquake. The aftershocks of the Simonov earthquake had moment magnitudes as high as 6.1, and as frequently as 100 times in one day. Not many people live in the Shumagin area of the Aleutic Islands, so there wasn't much damage. However, the earthquake summoned a miniature tsunami, causing floods and damaging property. No lives were lost to this natural disaster. For Alaska Earthquake Facts Number 1 11% of all earthquakes on Earth happen in Alaska. Number 2. Out of the top 8 largest earthquakes, 3 were in Alaska. Number 3. Since 1900, Alaska has had an average of 1,000 earthquakes monthly. Number 4. Of the top 10 earthquakes in the United States, 7 were recorded in Alaska. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe Top USA Entertainment.